And so she, speaking of a kid in trouble, she is uh, in college, went to spring break, got busted, public intoxication. Busted. Busted. Cold busted. You really got to tell the parents or not? That's what she's thinking. Mo's got the email. Bird show, I messed up, and I messed up bad. I'm in college and recently went on spring break, and I think it's safe to say I went a little too hard. So hard that I got arrested for public intoxication. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> yep. I know. Not my finest moment. After drinking all day and all night, when we got back to our hotel, I thought it would be a great idea to take a dip in the fountain at the hotel. Sure, sober up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that'll, that'll Just need to splash a little water on yeah, my face. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's basically, it's in the jacuzzi family. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and to be fair, if you're a hotel, why you got like any kind of water feature in the lobby of your hotel? Like you're just asking for drunk patrons to, 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 be to hop in. Yeah, I, I, I think that I have been one of those hotels before, super thirsty and actually tried to drink out of it. Oh, you did. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just like a horse in a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Security was not amused, and neither were the cops. I got charged with public intoxication. I'm torn between handling this mess on my own or coming clean to my parents. I know they'll be beyond disappointed if they find out, and the thought of facing their disappointment is almost as scary as the idea of going back for the court date. I mean, see, one day your kid's turning three, and then the next they're getting a public intoxication <laughs> by jumping in a hotel fountain. Do you think I should suck it up and tell them, or should I try to handle this on my own and hope they never find out? <laughs> I have a good relationship with my parents, but they both have always had very high expectations of me. My sister has been the F up <laughs> most of our lives, and there were never room for me to make mistakes. What a tremendous relief of pressure when the other sibling is the one that's always getting in trouble. Because <laughs> you've got built in like mulligans, right? No, yeah. sometimes. No, you get higher expectations. You get higher expectations. Yeah, it's worse. So you can't even that. get like one no. screw up. No. no. It's because, a big deal the moment you finally make a mistake. Right? Because like the the one that's making the mistakes gets it's, is getting quite a bit of attention. So the moment you do, and now they have to give you attention, mm -hmm. There's it's layers. And if you're not the F up, when you do F up, it's like 10 times worse. It's facts. I'm an adult and should be able to handle this on my own. But I'm not sure how I can keep this quiet. Plus, it would be nice to have their guidance, even if it came with disappointment. What would you do? All right, so we'll give advice in a second, but this one, this might be more entertaining. Um, what did you do on spring break that was so bad? Maybe you got arrested. It was so bad, but your parents never found out about it. Like, even to this day, they didn't find out about it. one 855 show. I had to come clean because I had bruises all over my body. What What did you do? I did, I we did jello wrestling, and we went up against some <laughs> rugby players. Wait, and, what? Yes. <laughs> jello wrestling? Yes, and there was no way I could hide it and my dad's like why I mean I literally had a handprint on my arm from where a girl grabbed me and flipped me over her head and like body slammed me into this pit of jello and there was no like and I at the time I was I'm a horrible liar and I wasn't about to pull like I couldn't pull something out of thin air and so I just had to come clean that yeah, we did jello wrestling on spring break and we went up against some New York some I will never forget these these women from New York who were rugby players and they demolished oh, us. Bet. Do you think on your deathbed when the story of your life is <laughs> going in front of you that that will get a half a second? A, a, a more than a half second. It deserves at least two full seconds. A slow mo montage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I would say for this this listener for, first of all your parents always find out. That, yeah, I mean, you think it, you think you're going to get away with it? Well, maybe not, because we're li the calls are lining up from people that did get away with it. But m most of the time, your parents find out about it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, as tough as it is, as if I were younger, then I would probably not want to tell my parents. But looking back on it, like you said, they always find out, and typically they will be able to guide you through it once they get past the disappointment a lot better than you can get yourself <laughs> through it. Well, I think it just all depends on the relationship you have with your parents. Like I know for me, if this happened to me in high school, I'd be screwed. But in college, my mom would have been like, <laughs> "Good job." <laughs> so you guys got to take that yeah. into consideration. Yeah. So. If my son, if one of my, if Hollis ends up at spring break, um, I would assume this is going to happen. This, I'm assuming this is going to happen. This wouldn't be that awful a thing for me. I'd be like, you're an idiot. You got busted. I, I, I would, I would just come clean with him. If, if you're going to spring break, there's a good portion of your parents' mindset is that something's going to happen. And 
even though Jimmy's only three, I would hope in the future if something like this happened, he would come and he would tell me. That way we could try to help him and guide him through the court process and, you know, give him the best advice. Because I can tell you at 21, you may or may not do things properly (laughs) when it comes to something like this. So in a case like this, I would default no matter how disappointed they're going to be. Yes, they'll be disappointed, but they're still going to love you nonetheless. I think you should tell them. Yeah, most of the time, this is built up in your head way more than reality. Like having to tell you, oh, my parents are going to kill me. Um, It's not going to be all that bad. So you have it played up in your head. It's going to be okay, but they are going to be pissed. Uh, Hey, Angela, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. So I broke a girl's nose. (laughs) Now, granted, she deserved it. Of course. (laughs) Okay. That makes it okay. Yep. Well, she was drunk, and she was with us, and she tried to leave with some boys, and I have this rule of, you can come with us, you live with us for safety reasons. Well, obviously, coming with me was not safe for her, but um, we we leave, and she bit me, and so you know how you put somebody in a headlock, and I popped her face into the hood and didn't expect her to break her nose. She took off running, couldn't find her for a week. I had to explain to her mother that I lost her for a week. And then when she finally showed up, she did not remember how she got the broken nose. She was so drunk. Well, good for you. Well, you're oh, like, I don't, you I don't know told anything her? about it. Did you? And you never told her? No. Okay. No. <laughs> so she was so drunk. <laughs> you, you got away with busting her nose. And to this day, she still doesn't know how it happened. Still doesn't know. And no, we're not doing a call. No, no, no. <laughs> Keep your money. No, no, no. You scare me. I'm not going to even suggest it. The Burt Show.